there's a song that's inside And it's one that I've tried To write over and over again I pray to be only yours I know now You're my only I love that movie. I was watching A Walk to Remember. It was so sweet. <laughs> Water. Hi YouTube. I am starting this video off on a high note because it's so sad when you think about all the mean and nasty things that people have said to you to try to bring you down because they feel lower than whale shit. You know? So I just had to start this video off on a high note, you know? Anyway, so I decided that today's video is going to be the five meanest insults <laughs> that I have ever personally received. I think this is going to be fun because, I mean, everybody gets insulted at some point in their life, whether you were like bullied in high school or bullied in middle school or whatever. Um, for me it was both, but I mean, I just think this would be a fun thing to do, like the five meanest insults that somebody has said to you. So, and I tried to keep these like as PG as I could, you know? <laughs> okay, so, um, the first insult was from a girl, I was in 10th grade, and this one the first time I was insulted but it was kind of the first time I was insulted by like a girl and especially a girl who was uglier than I was or what you know she thought she was cute but she wasn't and she was coming up behind me and I was walking in front of her and she was like move your fat ass out the way and I looked over like birch canoe <laughs> I was like, I know this didn't just tell me that. That was, that was mean. I mean, I think that was pretty mean. I didn't really think anything of it. This hoe, you know, she, please. She probably got like six baby daddies. I ain't nobody worried about what she got to say, you know. Um, mean. It was just mean words, but I mean, that's not something that like hurt, you know. It was 10th grade again, and... I was walking into computer class and there was like this, this boy, he was sitting with like, sitting with two other girls and he saw me coming into class and it was the first day of class and he was like singing, watch out for the big girl. And I was like, I had to stop. I had to look behind me because I was like, I noticed did not just say it was not just singing that song so at the time I was like yeah that's rude but I kind of just ignored him and I went and I took my seat and in the end it really didn't matter because I saw him um the next year and he had to take that class over because he failed computer class like who fails computer class it's pretty basic like it's basically the alphabets and and the numbers on a keyboard and all you have to do is type them like I mean it's not that hard but you know somebody who was more worried about me when I was you know coming into the classroom you know he would have failed the class and he did and I was like good enough for him and then a few years later I saw him and the at the mall and he was working in Chick-fil-A. So I was like, it, it is what it is. You know, I mean, I, I was actually, when I saw him behind the Chick-fil-A counter and he was sweating like hot grease and I saw him behind a Chick-fil-A counter, I was something inside you. You know what I'm saying? When somebody has talked about you bad, like something inside you when you see them like working at McDonald's, not to put any McDonald's employees, you know, down or anything, but I'm just saying like they don't have a regular like job as far as like an office job or they don't have like an entry level position. They work at like, you know, a fast food restaurant or something and they made fun of you like something inside of you just it just, you know, it makes your heart skip a beat almost like you fell in love. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes. <laughs> yes <laughs> he worked at Chick-fil-a yes I won <laughs> it's so fun I love it I was like yes 
Just so happy that I saw him at Chick-fil-A and he had to wait on me. I was like, yeah, in your face. Anyway. Now, who remembers MySpace? Obviously, people remember MySpace because MySpace came out before Facebook did, right? But it was the celebrity look-alike, and I thought this was mean. I did. I thought this was so mean. I was insulted, honey. So I, you know how you have to upload your photo, like a photo of your face, and they like you to upload a photo where, like, you can literally, like, really see your face, you know what I'm saying, and, like, every curve and stuff. So I uploaded what I thought was you know a hot portrait right <laughs> well I guess I was wrong because I uploaded my face my beautiful porcelain face look at that jawline mm-hmm I uploaded my beautiful porcelain face and long behold okay they usually give you like three celebrities that you look alike I could only remember two because there was only two that mattered and the first one I'll give you the good one um, the first one was Reese Witherspoon, who um, played in, she was the lead in Legally Blonde, <clears throat> the blonde girl, or whatever. I don't know how I personally would look like a Caucasian um, female with blonde hair and a strong, you know, butt chin or whatever. I don't know how I would look like her, but I was, you know, kind of flattered after I saw the second person that they gave me. The second person that they told me that I looked alike was... Can I get a drum roll, please? <laughs> Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> Can you believe this bullshit? I could not believe that they gave me Whoopi Goldberg. I, my 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 hair wasn't in dreads. My lips weren't black. You know what I'm saying? I could say so much about Whoopi, but I think it was the glasses. You know, because, see, I wear glasses. Bam, bam, bam. I wear specs, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I can't see far yet. Yeah, so what? You know what I'm saying? But just because I had glasses on and no other celebrity, you know, incorporated glasses into their personal look, like you, you would see like Eminem started wearing like silver glasses. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I think he did. And so like when people would see Marshall, they'd be like, oh yeah, that's Eminem. Like, yeah, we know he wears those silver, you know, framed glasses. And we know Whoopi does too, but see, my glasses frame was not like those circles like Whoopi wears or whatever, but yet they still thought that I should I should have had a Whoopi Goldberg lookalike so I was insulted again like I said you know I mean I eventually got over it when you know I put another picture in and they gave me Queen Latifah who was one of my idols you know I love Queen Latifah and you know when they gave me Queen Latifah you know I forgave everything number four was I was actually in church or whatever and I was on my way like out the doors of the church and I always used to give my a hug to like this guy or whatever and he was like well he was older than me he might have been like maybe like three or four years older than me and when I was on my way out <clears throat> he touches my stomach okay and I mean obviously I don't have a flat stomach I didn't then and I don't now but he touched my stomach and he asked me what is this like like why is my stomach not flat what is this I just politely smacked his hand like he was a two-year-old child like don't touch me um is this your body no it's not so why do you care like the biggest problem that I had with the fact that he touched it wasn't that he touched me or he touched well it was that he touched me but it wasn't that he touched my stomach because you guys don't know this about me but I have a, how should I call it? it it's like a hang-up. It's not like OCD, but it's like a hang-up of, like, I don't like ugly hands. Like, guys with ugly hands, like, I don't like those hands. And so, if you have ugly hands, I don't even want you touching me. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I can't even describe to you what his hands look like because he wasn't that he wasn't a small person either like he was big so honestly like back then I wasn't thinking about you know insulting the person back but now if you come for me honey I will come for you 10 times over you know now obviously you couldn't do that to me <laughs> you could but it it would it would be mayhem like it would end badly for you or whatever um 
you know, I punched people in the eye while they was crying. I'm just saying. <laughs> So, yeah, um, that's what he did, and his hands were really ugly, and I just could not, ugh. I mean, he touched my, me, and I just, it pissed me off because his hands were ugly as hell. <laughs> Water. Woo! This is really mean. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to tell y'all this. <laughs> it's kind of funny, actually. I like this. Friend, when I was in middle school, I went to my best friend's party and I slept over and it ended up being like a whole weekend party when it was really supposed to be just one day. But then we decided to go to the mall. So I was like, yeah, you know, let's go to the mall. So we got cute and everything because we had went shopping the day before. And so we put on all this new stuff, like new clothes, new shoes, knew everything jewelry I had my hair done unlike today um but <laughs> and we went and we were walking around the mall and she's actually she's Hispanic I won't say like what kind of Hispanic she is just in case you know somebody's watching this that I know <laughs> but she's Hispanic and obviously I'm not so we were walking around the mall and stuff like that and there was like this group of young guys like young boys or whatever and so we're walking around the mall and they were like, yo, yo, like trying to get our attention, which now that I think about it, I'm just like, what a bunch of D-bags, you know, a bunch of douche, like douche lords. And they were like, yo, yo. And they, long behold, t to my surprise, you know, they weren't trying to holler at me. So <laughs> I didn't know, but I wasn't like paying them attention. Like, oh yeah, you know, let me get your number or anything like that. I was just like, Look at we were just looking over there and she was like, oh, they're trying to talk to us. They're trying to talk to us. And then the one the little ignorant one and you could tell that he had no home training because he was like ill, not her pointing at me and then started making throw up noises like that. And I was like, really, though? So I was just like, hmm, that's that's a new one <laughs> that stung. <laughs> It was definitely a new approach to insulting somebody, you know, making yourself look like you were trying to projectile vomit in the air. So I was like, I don't know who looks stupid, more stupid, like you or the person who bred you because they they have to be ashamed. And that's probably why your dad don't want to know you. <laughs> that's mean. See, I told you, I don't mess with me now, honey. <laughs> mess with the boy, you get the horns. Mm. Mm -hmm. Water. But yes, that's that's what happened. Those were the five meanest insults that I received in my life so far and yeah I can laugh about it now I mean I think it's I think it's hilarious you know I mean I've bought some pain on other people so <laughs> you know hurt people hurt people but I mean I, I don't mean any harm you know but I know they did they they were not joking and at the time you know it stung and it hurt and <clears throat> you know blah 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 but you just get over it as you get older like it gets better um and you just realize that probably every single one of those people who was talking about you probably has like five kids by like five baby daddies or has like five kids by five baby mamas and they're probably living off of your tax paying dollars and I mean, or they will be living off of your tax paying dollars or they'll go to jail for drugs or they'll be like, you know, a, just a drug addict just on its own. That's just horrible in itself. But, <laughs> but um, no offense to any like heroin addicts who watch me or anything, but I'm just saying, you know, that's obviously not the path that people want to go down. So definitely nice to see when they, they work at some low budget place like, you know, the Dollar General or something, you know. You, you when you're walking out you gotta yell back get get my bags nigga you know what I'm saying <laughs> you know and then you can get in your comfy cushy car and you know you know you have vacation coming up in a week and you're like oh my god I'm gonna be in the sun and oh my gosh that person's gonna be sweating but they're not gonna be sweating because they're running on the beach with me they're gonna be sweating because they're bagging groceries Yes, I won. I won. I won. It's all about winning. As far as I know, the five people that give, gave me these insults, as far as I know, I'm still in the winning. You know, I'm still winning. I'm still, you know, I'm not in the race anymore. I won the race. So, 
I'm happy with it, you know. I mean, that's why I can get on here and I can tell you guys about it. So put in the comment boxes below. <laughs> tell me in the comment box below what the meanest, like, insult. Just give me one because there's probably going to be a lot. <laughs> <laughs> just give me what because people are really mean today like I'm glad that I'm not like in high school right now like today because I probably be fighting every day but um just give me one insult that like the meanest one you think is mean and put it in the comments it probably is mean I mean I'm not telling you it's not mean but everybody has like a different mean meter if you want to say that so yeah just put it in the comments below remember to like and subscribe to my channel i upload every friday and thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed the video bye mini maze with the first couple ones i was like oh no 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 <clears throat> Um, winning, it's all about winning. That's just, it's just what it is, you know? So I, do what you gotta do, honey. <laughs> get, get my bags, nigga. You know, it's nice. <laughs> it kind of, and, uh, and I was getting a salad, so, mm. so. <laughs> um, watch out for the big girl. Watch out for the big girl.